Good morning. It's Thursday, May 26, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Loss and Gain, and our scriptures Acts chapter 1. So when the apostles were with Jesus, they kept asking him, Lord, has the time come for you to free Israel and restore our kingdom? He replied, The Father alone has the authority to set those dates and times, and they're not for you to know. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. After saying this, he was taken up into a cloud while they were watching, and they could no longer see him. As they strained to see him rising into heaven, two white-robed men suddenly stood among them. Men of Galilee, they said, why are you standing here staring into heaven? Jesus has been taken from you into heaven, but someday he will return from heaven in the same way you saw him go. Just when the disciples were beginning to sense some kind of peace about having lost their leader, their Lord, Jesus, and then getting him back, he disappears again. The pain and the horror of the cross isn't repeated, thankfully, but once again, they're left to wonder what to do next. As they stood staring bug-eyed into the heavens, straining for one more look at their loved Master, Mentor, and Messiah, Angels suddenly stood next to them, and the angels brought words of comfort and assurance. They said, what you've seen here, the same way you've watched him go, that's the same way he'll be coming back. Stop your staring. It's not over. The promise of a better day coming is comforting, yet it can strain our faith in difficult times. And sometimes the test of faith itself is almost unbearable. This week's tragic, unspeakable event in Uvalde, Texas, where at least 19 children and two adults were murdered by gunfire at their school, is one of those times. I live nearly 1,400 miles from Robb Elementary School, and I've never met anybody who lives in that small town. Yet the sense of loss I feel is overwhelming. And the sense of shame is palpable for me. That this happens so often in our country where we unashamedly proclaim dedication to liberty and civilized treatment for all people. Mass shootings are commonly defined by four or more victims at one location or closely related locations. May 24th is the 144th day of the year, and this country has seen 212 episodes of those four or more victims this year. That's an average of one rampage every 16 and a half hours, or at least one heart stopped every four hours and eight minutes. You can keep the statistical records, but how can you possibly measure the loss in terms of pain, both physical for the victims and the emotional suffering for the surviving families that will never fully end? May 24th in Methodist circles celebrates the day when founder John Wesley recorded in his diary how his heart was strangely warmed the sudden, wonderful awareness of God's love and transforming power to bring eternal life. Yet, on the record in Uvalde, Texas, May 24th, will bear the names of 21 beating hearts, senselessly made cold and still. For you today, as the disciples were told by the angels to anticipate the next advent of their Lord, We must continue to have our hearts beat for the families who can barely breathe today, to do what we can to help them gain a sense of hope in their terrible losses. I can think of no better way to offer that hope than voices raised to end the violence of guns or any other weapons. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road with Jesus. Have a blessed day.